This is the news. As you call that rate, you're tuned in to you call that radio live from Mexico. And the lines are open. If you want to actually call that radio, uh, you can join in by giving us a call or leaving a comment below. Uh, I've got an interesting question from Anonymous in Perth who asks, do you think that the Epstein flight logs being released today is a deliberate distraction to stop people talking about the real issues like a certain nightclub leaking the blacklist of all the customers they have banned? Or is it a coincidence? Very good question from Anonymous in Perth. Uh, let me explain a little bit. I think some of our viewers and listeners will need some context for this one. But this has been the talk of the steamy on Scottish Facebook for the last couple of days. A nightclub called The Loft, you probably know better as The Ice Factory, has um, been in a bit of a scandal over the last couple of days because there was a data breach. Allegedly, I'll say allegedly twice, allegedly, allegedly, there has been a data breach. Allegedly, there has been a data breach where everyone who's been banned from the nightclub has been outed on a document with their names, their photographs, and the reason that they were banned. Some were banned for life, some were banned for a few weeks, some were banned for a few months. And some people are outraged that their drunken mistakes have been leaked online. Some people claim they have been misidentified and they're pleading innocence. And some people are disappointed that they didn't make the banned list. Now, I've actually had a look at the documents myself. The, the reason that we're saying allegedly is because uh, the Loft, a.k.a. the Ice Factory, is denying that any wrongdoing. They're saying, A, it's an old document. It's at least six months old. I don't think that really matters in this situation. B, none of their actual staff have, have uh, revealed this. None of their staff leaked the document, which I think is probably accurate as well. It looks like the work of a disgruntled former employee or perhaps somebody who's currently an employee who just thought it was funny or just couldn't handle the, the gossip. It was too strong, so they shared it to a friend and said, can you keep a secret? Then that friend shared it and says, can you keep a secret? And th now thousands of people have seen it online. The link no, lo no longer works, but everybody's downloaded the PDF file by now. Reasons for being banned include substance misuse, aggressive behavior, and a mass 15-person brawl that occurred on the dance floor. Now, Jeffrey Epstein may have been one of the worst people in the world of all time, but there's, as far as I'm aware, there's no hardcore evidence of him ever breaching the Data Protection Act the way that the Ice Factory has. The Ice Factory is saying that they're not sure if the document is real or is fake. Now, I think it's safe to say that nobody has faked this document. This would take a lot of work, and also it involves, it seems like a lot of the, the pictures of the people are coming from security body cams or perhaps CCTV footage. So I think they can safely say this is not a fake document, allegedly. But let's give Ice Factory the benefit of the doubt here. They're saying that they're investigating it and they're not sure if the document is real or is fake. It is a genuinely interesting document for nosy bastards across the planet, from Perth to Mexico. And it must feel like an actual gold mine for people who live in the Perth area. Now, I, even I recognized a few faces, and it was a wee bit sad that I didn't recognize more. So how, how serious is this? On one hand, it depends on how legitimate these accusations are. I've seen uh, one that claims a customer has homophobic tendencies. I've seen a lot of young ladies who look like butter when they melt being accused of attacking police officers and kicking door staff in the head. There is guys being accused of making women feel uncomfortable while allegedly having a pendant, have it, while allegedly 
having pending court cases. And then there is less serious ones like he was being a nuisance. The boy was being a bloody nuisance. He's banned for a month until he learns the error of his ways. But most people seem to be banned for life. I'm just looking through it just now. Most people are banned for life. There's a few six months bans in there. There's a few uh, four week bans. But I suppose how serious this is depends on how accurate these accusations are. Because there is people saying that they've been misidentified or they didn't do it, they're innocent. And that could be them just trying to save face in front of their friends and their family and their employers. Or it could be that maybe the door staff have exaggerated stuff or whoever wrote up this uh, file has exaggerated stuff. And in that case, this could be the tip of the iceberg. This could just be the start of the story because anyone with a publicly facing job could lose their job. And then if it's not true or there's no proof, they could potentially sue the club for a data breach. You know, I think there is a definitely a valid argument for the nightclub to keep their customers safe by having some sort of ban list. You know, it looks like a lot of this stuff is aggressive and violent behavior, homophobic behavior. And yeah, I, I can see why a nightclub would need a list like this because they might have a new bouncer on the door who isn't aware of, of previous situations that have occurred. So there's an element of the nightclub needs to keep their customers safe, but also the, this should never have leaked. This should never have been public. And also, you know, the situations, some of the people haven't just been caught by CCTV. It looks like social media pictures. It looks like there's pictures of people's driving license with personal information. So it's a bit of a mess. I think it's definitely safe to say that they did not leak this information deliberately. This is a disgruntled former employee or a current employee who made a big mistake, who wasn't no right thinking employee would share this document. You know, a lot of my, uh, f you know, I'm friends with a lot of door staff. They've got a really tough job and a lot of them are really good people. But I've also had situations whereby I remember my cousin Marty getting flung down a flight of stairs for no reason. And then you could technically accuse my behavior of being aggressive after that because I was like, what the, what the f you know, what? You just threw my cousin down a flight of steps and I was angry. So I suppose it just depends on how good the door staff actually are in the ice factory. I've not been for a few years, so I can't comment on the door staff or the staff in general. But if they've been honest, if this is honest, then maybe some people need to take a bit of responsibility and stop acting like fannies when they've had too much to drink. But if uh, the door staff have been exaggerating things or they've just been banning people for no reason and putting them in a document, then this is quite outrageous. I suppose we'll need to wait and see. But to answer your question, I don't think that this is a conspiracy theory. I don't think the Epstein <laughs> flight logs being released as a conspiracy theory to stop people talking about the, the ice factory. Nothing will stop the people of Persia talking about the ice factory. The ice factory has given a statement and that's just got people talking even more. So I, I don't think that, that they're linked in any way, but I'm open, open-minded about it. Maybe, maybe it is, could be, could be. But what do, you, what do you think? This is your call that radio. It's your call when you call that radio. So leave a comment below. Uh, do, you, do you think, do you agree with Anonymous in Perth that the Epstein flight logs dropping today is a distraction to stop Scottish people on Facebook talking about the Ice Factory blacklist? Do you think this restricted file was deliberately shared by a disgruntled former employee? Do you have sympathy with the nightclub for keeping a list of people's names and faces and the reasons that they're banned? I could kind of see both sides in this one, so I'd like to hear your call. Leave your comments below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on this one. 
And uh, yeah, we've, we've just hit 3.2 thousand subscribers on YouTube. So thanks to everybody. Hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. And thank you to the Patreons and YouTube members who make this all possible. It's patreon.com forward slash you call that radio. But yeah. Bye! You call that Mexico, Mexico, Mexico. They talk that Spanish flow, Spanish flow, Spanish flow. Tequila's every night, every night, every night. You're just a tenafly, tenafly, tenafly.